Ladies and gentlemen, we're over here on a day that's almost about to rain, right? It's yeah. real dark, cloudy. We felt a few raindrops. We're in front of the Clayton County School System Central Office, and and we want to know, we want you to know that uh, they're up to the same old tricks down here in Clayton County. They got an interim superintendent, and she evidently is in here just to keep house and just let everything go like it's always been going. Uh, you file a grievance, and uh, guess what? They don't want to process a grievance. Now, the Georgia law, OCGA 20-2-989.5, and uh, exit, and you can go over there to section eight, paragraph four, it says that a complainant uh, should have the opportunity to be heard, to present relevant evidence, and to examine witnesses at each level. Has the right to be heard. No, no, that doesn't say that, Ms. Haynes. I don't have it right in front of me. It says entitled, is entitled to be heard, right? Exactly. It says the complainant is entitled to be heard, but not in Clayton County. Lavinia Jackson is the superintendent, interim superintendent right here. And this sign right here is good pink when it says, Lavinia, either you or Dougie Hendricks must go or both. Doug Hendricks tried this same mess, apparently under that last superintendent we said. Heatley. Heatley. We said he right. shouldn't go. We right. picked it right here before they hired Heatley because we knew he was a mess out in Chino Valley, California. And guess what? He was a mess down here in Clayton County. I mean, we picking him constantly. He's gone. He's out here just like Romaine Dallaman down there in Macon. We picked him two times this year. The last time was in January, last or a little over a month ago, at the school board meeting down there. They bought him out. Say, right? Back about two, two, two years or less down in Macon. He caught, brought in what he called the Macon Miracle. It was more like a Macon nightmare down there. Well, down in Clayton County here, you know, had Heatley in here. I've never seen so many complaints under one superintendent of Clayton County, and I've been following about 12, 13, 14 superintendents following back to Ernest Stroud, Ed Edmonds the year wow. before him, and you know, came up to Joe Lovin, and you could just start naming them, Bob Livingston, Joe Harrison, I could rip them all off, folks, and let me tell you what, Edmund Heatley was a horrible superintendent. And now, Lavinia Jackson, see, I've been knowing Lavinia for 35 years. We wow. pick it friend and foe alike at Mace, folks. You if go. you don't do right, we're going to pick at you. There you go. If you don't process a grievance, all you superintendents out there know one thing. If you don't process a grievance, we're going to let folks know about it because it's a violation of the Georgia law. What's this say? They said, Lavinia, don't listen to legal pimps. Follow the law. Follow the law. It, don't they have that same attorney here that they had up in Cobb County? And they had 50. Seven illegal board meetings up in Cobb County. Glenn, Glenn, Glenn Brock. Brock. Yeah. Glenn Brock. He moved up somewhere, ain't he? He gone to another firm now. He's okay. trying to keep his business. So he's oh, a pretty okay. good businessman now. He's got all kind of school system, but he evidently tells them they don't have to follow the law. Because I can fly. I asked Miss Jackson right over there. I've been talking about you right here, Miss Lavinia Jackson. I told we we pick a friend and follow friend and foe alike now. If you don't follow the law, process a grievance, it, we say right here. Lavinia, either you or Dougie Hendricks must go or both. We, we file grievances, and Doug Hendricks doesn't process a grievance. He doesn't have a right to just say, well, that's not grievable. The law says 20-2-989.5, section 8, paragraph 4, it says the complainant is entitled. You know what an entitlement, right? Entitled to be heard, to, pro to uh, examine, uh, no, to, uh, to be heard, to present relevant evidence, and to examine witnesses at each level. But these legal pimps, I'm talking about Glenn Brock, people like that, they evidently tell school system they don't have to do it. Oh, you let me take care of that. Because I confronted Heatley about it right over here in that boardroom. He said, ah, I gotta talk to my attorney. His attorney was Glenn Brock. You know, the same one who stepped down under, well, let's just say not a pretty circumstance up in Cobb County. It's all in the Marietta Daily Journal. Just Google Glenn Brock, Marietta Daily Journal. You'll see, but then they gave the Clem Dole, his, his teammate over there at Brock and Clay, right? Yeah. His former law firm. He's with another law firm now. now I'm going to tell you, we don't yeah, make 60 to 70 percent of our pickets are because the superintendent lets uh, uh, somebody like Ron Wade, a up there in County, County. let them go get, say, well, it's not grievable. Like this, I've got a federal judge saying, well, it doesn't pass summary judgment. You don't have a right as assistant superintendent or a human resources director or superintendent to say that, well, we just not going to And we're going to be picking it back up at North Clay. We're picking Lee Street, to, right. what, back in November? Yeah. Now, it, if we process a grievance, we try to take care of it pri fairly privately, folks. But if we don't, then we go, we get you on the World Wide Web. We do all kinds of stuff, okay? 
And it's like a little doo-doo. When you get on that World Wide Web, it's all on you. You can't get it off, folks. It, it stinks, you? doesn't it? <laughs> now, what's it? What my sign say? Right here now. Levine, you do something about Lee Street, North Elementary, and North Clayton High. That, that same guy, didn't we pick him twice in one week or two yeah, weeks? Yeah, uh, Monday's meal. Monday's meal Monday, yeah. I was cold as all get out that day, freezing my hands off. But we picked him. Now, I don't know. That ain't Dougie Hendricks over there, is he? No, no, that's not Dougie, okay. Well, see, Dougie going to get Lavinia all kind of mess by not processing grievances now. Because, see, it's an electronic age right here. We just get them on there and we just put it on the Internet. My stuff goes viral. Yeah, it, go everywhere. it goes everywhere, man. Yeah. People look at my stuff all over the place. Just go up and put that in Heatley. At one time, I think the first five or six things that came up was stuff I wrote about him, right? Yeah, exactly. I'm going to tell you, I don't play now. We ain't going to let Clayton County get like we even got a lot of process agreements in now, right? Yeah, we, we got to do it level two tomorrow. Yeah. Level two tomorrow, Clayton County. I mean, uh, Atlanta Public Schools. That's right. But the folks, Clayton County going through the same mess down here. I like Miss Jackson. She's a good woman. I like her. But she's a friend. But we got to pick it our friends, too, if they don't do right. They either go process agreement, Doug Henry's going to process agreements, or, or Lavinia Jackson going to be in the news constantly. I promise you now, Miss Jackson.